Okay, I wanted to do a quick update on a couple of the random things that I've been scurrying around uh, working in between the goggle project. Uh, the blinking iris goggles is, uh, I'm waiting on parts to come in from eBay, so maybe this later this week or next week, but once those parts come in from eBay, I'll be throwing all the stuff into the new uh, frame and we'll be progressing with that. In the meantime, I've got some other stuff to show you. Take a peek at this. Okay. So, Fat Shark battery. Um, this is this typical uh, battery that's used to power FPV goggles, uh, barrel jack, all that stuff. It only has uh, 1800 milliamp hour uh, capacity. Um, this weekend, I was flying a lot because it's Thanksgiving weekend, but it just didn't last all weekend and I forgot to bring my charger and it was a huge, like, upsetting thing for me. Um, and that got me thinking there's got to be a better way to power the, the goggles that will last longer. So, I had these guys laying around. This is a 26650. Um, it's almost like an 18650, but it's bigger. Um, and these have around 5,000 milliamp hour um, capacity. So I'm going to be making a little carriage to hold these. Uh, essentially, that'll kind of fit the profile of this, but will be a little bit bigger and um, will be better in a couple different ways. I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while, but this will have a lot more capacity so I can fly. You know, if I'm going for a long weekend, I'll just, you know, charge these bad boys up and then I'll be good all weekend. Um, and then this is kind of a, a spoiler. This is going to be the lid for the case for this. And it'll have a voltmeter inside of it that'll tell me the voltage of the pack. And then also, this is pretty slick, I like this. I'm going to have um, a little switch to turn on the voltmeter from measuring voltage from the pack itself to uh, measuring from an external XT30 or a JST. So what I want to be able to do is essentially take my little, you know, multimeter like this, where I can just come over here and plug in a pack, and it tells me the voltage, uh, oops, tells me the voltage of either a pack from, XT, from an XT60, excuse me, an XT30, or a JST power 2.0 power whoop uh, tells me the voltage on those. I keep holding it upside down, but yeah. Um, so the functionality of that baked into the, the battery that will power my FPV goggles. I think that's really a great idea because then um, you'll have a voltage checker wherever you go because you're always going to be flying with goggles. Okay, so I'm working on getting that all set up. I'll show you the CAD models here in a second. Um, but now, do, do, do this little guy. Oh man, I'm excited about this. This I finally got all set up. It uses a 1407 motors, has a 30 amp all-in-one ESC, uh, a run cam split, that's this next board here. <clears throat> and I've got an XM Plus receiver, and then I've got an F4 uh, flight controller with OSD. Here's my run cam split. And then I've got a, uh, uh, I think it's a VTX-03 in the, the helmet up here. Um, and I have all the electronics working. Yes. And set up. I just need to um, kind of configure it in beta flight and get everything uh, sorted tomorrow. And I'll probably do a maiden tomorrow. But I'm pretty pumped about this guy. This thing should roop. Um, okay, so that does it for the bench type stuff. Um, now let me show you the CAD models for the carriage for the super duper fat shark battery thing. Okay, let's do a little bit of a camera swap. Okie doke. Uh, we're just gonna, we'll do that. That's good. I'll make that work. So the green is obviously the carriage for the XT, uh, 25, 26650 batteries. Um, they'll go, you know, side by side like that. And then what I've got here is that uh, piece that I've already printed. Um, and it will go and slide in like so. And then I'll have my LCD or my little uh, voltage display showing voltage here. And then I'll have my XT30 here and then my JST 2.0 here. The connector going to the uh, Fat Sharks there and then the power button will go there. Um, and then if I ever need to pop these out and charge them, I'll, it'll just slide out and these two will come out. And um, I think that's going to work really well. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, okay, so that's that. Now for an update on the goggles. Um, I basically uh, made the changes that we talked about in the last video uh, regarding the goggles. I made this window here, uh, a little bit of uh, rearranging and finessing to get that to fit. But there's some really thin sections that I was worried about, 
but um, I think we'll be okay. So the battery, the little LiPo will slip in there and then be tucked away. And then on this side, we have uh, a no another little nook for the um, voltage step up converter, which is here. Uh, I don't have it yet, so I'm running off of rough dimensions off of eBay. Uh, I kind of overspaced things just to make sure it all works, but yeah. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at with the random projects I'm working on. Um, yeah, let's look at the comments, see what people are saying. Alec Ryan says, I've heard those small voltage meters aren't very accurate, but uh, should be suitable for something like goggle batteries. Um, so I kind of was suspect of the same thing, Alec, and um, I ran a test and just did a, a voltage range uh, from my power supply through my nice multimeter, my voltmeter, and then also to the uh, little uh, display thing. And it was spot on, like through the voltage range. Uh, so I'm, I'm not too worried about it. It might be, and I got these off eBay, like they're not anything expensive, um, but they seem to work. And they have a potentiometer on the back. So uh, if one of them happens to be like not calibrated, I can, you know, adjust that. Um, so yeah, I'm, it should be fine. Um, have I seen the TX-05? It's basically a TX, or Alex says, uh, have you seen the TX-05? It's basically a TX-03 with a dipole antenna, a dedicated video in and out for OSD, and then go up to 250 milliwatts instead of 200, and it's only $25. Hmm, I have not seen the TX-05. I'll have to look into that, Alec. Thanks for the suggestion. Um, uh, for the... The model that I made for the three inch that I'm building, um, I tried to make it where it would accommodate a wide range of video transmitters, but it, it's kind of specific to the VTX-03. I, I think if there's a, another video transmitter that has roughly the same dimensions, it should work. Um, but whenever I, make them, I'll post, whenever I get this thing flying, um, I'll post the files so y'all can download and build it if you want to or whatever. Um, but I'm, I'm really proud of the, um, the canopy. Uh, it's, it's pretty slick. I'll, I'll do a little video on that tomorrow. But yeah, so that's a, the quick update. Um, hope that is good for now. And um, thanks for the comments. I will see you next time.